All right, Lucas. Uh, this is how many years at uh, Legend of the Old Three? Five. Five. Every, all the, everybody I've talked to, it's, you're all, yeah. you all came in together. Uh-huh. All right. Pretty much. Pretty much. But you're the only one who doesn't go to Beer Street. Yep, yeah, I go to Vermilion. Vermilion. How far away is that? Like 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Do you stay here on the campus? Yeah. How long have you been here? I've been here for about four weeks. Four. But I get like a little break in between every, each camp. Okay, so you get to go home and yeah. sit in the air conditioning and drink fun Yep. Uh, looking at this... You guys, you were over in the old yeah. wrestling room that is the weight room now. Yeah. How much has the place changed since then? Oh, it's changed a lot. I'm like wrestling in like half a mat and doing double legs and running into each other under the walls. But then going in there and wrestling a fourth mat, you just you can run across the old mat with like running double leg and wouldn't hit anybody. It's just so much room. And in the weight room, there's pretty there's like not enough. There's wasn't like any weights, but now there's a lot more in there and everything. Cafeteria, yeah. dorm rooms. Which dorm do you see? The lights out. Oh, you're. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The big, the big dorm. The yeah. nice dorm. Yeah. Um, looking at your development as a wrestler, what would you say the most important thing has been? You know, start the coming here, hearing about it, it, it being started, it being a half hour from your house. What's the biggest thing for you, and what? How has it helped you? Just like the staff here. I mean, they're amazing. Like they can help anything out. They, like you just say you need help with the move, they'll go out there and help you with it. If you need help with anything, they'll mostly help you. Literally, laundry. Oh, wow. Laundry. <laughs> Could Coach Pack be a comedian? I think he's pretty funny. Yeah, he is pretty funny. I think he's pretty funny. Yeah, we know he can be a comedian. Um, when you know you hear about this thing, um, are you, what grade are you? I'm going to be a freshman. You'll be a freshman. When you hear about it, so you're in like fifth grade when this yeah. place starts. What, what's the thing, what's the first thing you remember hearing about it? It was just like, my dad told me, he was like, hey, there's an opening place in London Gold. Like, what's that? He's like, a wrestling facility. I'm like, let's go try it out. I tried it out, went to a few camps, because like, I kind of liked it, and just came back ever since then. All the guys I talked to, they all go to Beersford. Um, every single one of them seems like they're, I mean, two of them said, why well, want to go to Division One? Yeah. Is that something that's, that's a... Yeah, it's, it's a goal of mine, to be a Division One. So you were third as an eighth grader in the high school championships? Yeah. Um, wait, you'll be 120 this year? I'll be probably 113. 113? What place did you, uh, what, what weight did you place at this past year? 106. 106. Um, as far as the uh, Fargo experience and off season, how much do they stress the off season wrestling here? Um, yeah, it's, we train hard. I mean, year round, we, if there's like pretty much no days off, do technique, free free practices, and then other practices are like live and all that. And, just get better every day. Looking at South Dakota, um, you know, I asked a couple of these guys, are you guys at a disadvantage because, you know, in most people's eyes, you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's harder to find partners because, you know, good yeah. partners make you better. Iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys at a disadvantage, or do you think? Like what kind of Dakota said, I mean, you can travel the extra miles just to get to wrestle someone that you may, that may have beaten you, but you can come back and beat them again to travel the extra miles too. So you're, you're going to find a way? Yeah. Not a disadvantage? I don't think it is. Okay. Uh, if there's one thing you want people to know about, you know, South Dakota, Legends of Gold, what you guys are doing here, what would it be? It's just a great facility, good staff, good time, just hanging out with friends, wrestling, playing some games, and you know, it's just fun. What do you think the likelihood of all four guys I interviewed today being state chances? What do you think? Really high. Really high? Yeah. How many divisions here? What? How many divisions here? Two. Two? So just, it's not totally crazy, because like some places got like four and five divisions, yeah. you know what I mean? But their population may justify it. Oregon yeah. has six divisions. Yeah. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. That means they have six day chance. So I, I, I could be in the spring having talked to four state champs. Yeah. All right. Uh, if there's one thing, you know, that maybe you guys, what, what, what is one thing you want to see happen here that they haven't done yet? Uh, by all four of us, I mean, you know, just like all winning state champion and go division one. That's you, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. What time did you guys session today? One. One? It's live. Ooh, I'll let you guys get rushed. You got anything else for me? No. All right, Lucas, thanks for the time, buddy. Good luck this year. Thank you. Get some state titles here in South Dakota. Yeah.